You're watching YouTube Live, MBL, England action. The Loughborough Riders getting ready to take on the Hemel Storm. Well, a very good afternoon and welcome to Loughborough University. We're live, Loughborough Riders taking on the Hemel Storm NBL regular season action. An exciting encounter coming up 
I hope you're all having a fantastic afternoon. My name is Tahir Hajar. I will be your commentator today. And we were due to have Christina Gaskin join us. Unfortunately, she's unavailable for today's game. So we've drafted in somebody to have another debut go alongside me on comms. It's actually a colleague of mine that works with me at the Leicester Riders Foundation. Uh, his name is Dom. I don't know how you doing, Dom? I'm well, thank you to hear. How are you today? I'm good, thank you very much, sir. So Dom's been coaching basketball uh, for about five years now. Went to University of Leicester, played basketball there. And is originally from Stroud in Gloucestershire um, and has had strong connections to uh, his hometown in regards to basketball. And, and he's excited to get involved today. Yeah, very excited. Uh, should be a great Division One game here between these two sides. Obviously, at slightly different ends of the table. Uh, Hemel, strong performance. Uh, so far this season, Loughborough looking to try and tick another win. So um, some exciting matchups today, and we'll see what happens. All right, let's set the scene a little bit here. Then some Loughborough riders currently sitting eighth in the NBL table, three and eight their record this season. Uncharacteristic, but for a young side coached by Mark Jarum, uh, and has some, of course, standout players. Carl Jimenez, the assist leader in the NBL. Uh, is currently averaging 12.2 points, 10.3 assists and 8.3 rebounds, almost averaging a triple-double and a lot of people have been talking about in this season. Their captain Jonas Dietrich, a steady uh, player that's really brought it over the years for the Loughborough Riders, always in fine form. Uh, he's currently averaging 20 points for the Riders this season. Unfortunately, the Leicester Riders will be without Harrison, uh, sorry, the Loughborough Riders will be without Harrison Gamble. Uh, this afternoon and we'll go through the rosters very shortly. The Hemel Storm sitting in fourth position as as Dom kindly said a strong start to the season seven and two and of course some amazing players within their roster including the Americans Mike Williams 22 points per game five rebounds should we say six rebounds per game and also uh, the big man Greg Polion he's almost averaging 26 points and 11.4 boards per game. But not only that, they are star-studded with British talent as well. In the form of Bode Adeluola, uh, Teo Ayofusi, Shaquille Lewis, and of course, and former Loughborough rider and former Leicester rider, Levi Knoll uh, makes the return here to the Loughborough University. And he's won a lot with the, Leicester, uh, the Loughborough riders and the Leicester riders in his time in the programme. Uh, how do you think he'll be looking at today's game? I think when you're returning to a place where you've played before, you're always looking to have a strong performance. I think he's relishing the opportunity to get out there and prove what he can still do. Um, he's probably just looking to have fun. I think one of the key metrics for today is going to be the three-point field goal percentages. Hemel have been shooting the ball well this season. And um, if they can get that going early, Loughborough might be in with a challenge to run them off the three-point line. but. We'll see if they can uh, make that happen. Well, what I can say is that these Loughborough rims here are tough rims, but the teams that have come here and shot the ball well and they do get hot, it really does work for them and get them going. Let's have a little closer look at today's full rosters then. Uh, in for the Hemel Storm, wearing zero, Mike Williams. Number five, Bode Adelawola. Number six, Nick Allen. Number seven, Jack Burnell. Number eight, Leicester local, Ewan James. Number nine, Hafiz Abdul. Number 11, Levi Knoll. Number 12, Shaquille Lewis. Number 15, Teo Oyofusi. Number 20, Alex Scotland-Williamson. Number 21, Greg Polian. And their captain, number 25, Walid Mamouni. Their head coach is former BBL sharpshooter Drew Spinks, assisted by Michael Darlow. Uh, this, the roster for the Loughborough Riders this afternoon at number 4, Joe Bielak. Number 5, Greg Wilde. Number 6, Carl Jimenez. Number 7, CJ Hayden. Number 8, Chester Morrell. Number 9, Carnu Goodzer. In a 10, Carl Antifo, number 11, Dwayne Areja. Their captain at number 13, Jonas Dietrich. Number 21, Victor Nduku. Number 25, Connor O'Reilly. And number 31, David Aputa. Their head coach, of course, is coach Mark Jarum, assisted by Liam Jefferson. Those are the rosters for you as the starting fives are getting ready to make their way onto the floor. Don't forget, if you are joining us live on the YouTube, get involved. Lots of questions. Lots of statements. We want to let you want you to let us know what you're thinking about today's game. Also share it with your friends and family online at MBL England on Twitter and on Instagram. So the starting five for the Loughborough Riders as they get ready to go. CJ Hayden, uh, Nduku, Dietrich, Jimenez, and number 11, Dwayne Areja starting for the Loughborough Riders. In the last game, Loughborough Riders took on the Nottingham McDonald's Hood with a big win, 96-63. They'll be looking to bounce back off that positive uh, game. A 
take on Hemelstone, who also came off a huge win against Worthing Thunder in overtime, 79 to 86, behind Greg Polion's monster 20 points and 16 rebounds. And the starting fives for the uh, sorry, for the Hemel Storm are making their way into the floor. Number 11, Levi Noll. Number 5, Adelawola. Number 15, Teo Ayafusi. Number 21, Greg Polian. And of course, wearing zero, Mike Williams. The starting five for the Hemel Storm this afternoon. Lots of other action to get involved with in the NBL this afternoon. The Bradford Gra Dragons taking on Worthing Thunder at 2 o'clock. Uh, Team Newcastle taking on the Essex Rebel at 4 o'clock. Big dog balling, shout out my guy. A great commentator for the uh, Essex Rebels. Um, BA London Lions will be taking on the Solent Kestrels after their loss in the BBL Trophy to Surrey. And the Thames Valley Cavaliers will be taking on the Derby Trail Blazers at 6.30. So now the players will observe a moment of silence and take the knee. The recognition of what we need to change. What can I do? Ask yourself, what can you do to help end the fight against racism? As we'll get this underway and the Loughborough Riders will win the tip. Dietrich looking down low, CJ Hayden rising up to the elbow, Victor Nduku into the game, obviously training with the Leicester Riders men's professional team uh, and, and also at Charmwood College Dunk. Yeah, Victor a great young talent uh, to have in the program here and uh, you like to see that early, that shot didn't drop for him but it shows the confidence that he's got to let it fly first shot of the game. Three ball, no good for Ayafusi. And now Riders come up the floor for their second offensive opportunity of the game. Dietrich driving baseline, goes strong onto the right hand for two. Captain leading the way by example. And that's the first blood drawn in this game. Hamill Storm with possession and one. Nice drive to the ring, Mike Williams letting his presence feel known early on in this one. Yeah, strong take to the basket there, took the contact, managed to find the finish. He's going to the line to see if he can add one more. And now Mike Williams on the free throw line. Knocks down the freebie, three point play as the Hemel Storm take advantage very early in this one. And actually quite a slow paced start. Both teams opt in to really get into their sets and actions here. Down screen for Victor Nduku as Jonas Dietrich flares around on the other side. Jimenez though finds Nduku. Now back with Dietrich onto the right hand. And a rebound. Oyafusi pushing the ball forward into the hands of Noel. Yeah, both teams taking it quite slow, seeing their half court offense early on here. Not many transition opportunities. Williams, he'll knock down the two. You don't want him to warm up early. Now, on the right-hand side with Arija, Dietrich comes off the screen, pulls up mid-range, long two, and that will bounce, and a friendly bounce for him here on his home court rims. A lot of usage early for Jonas, uh, getting them shots up, getting comfortable. No. Now moves the ball to Ayafusi, he's guarded by Hayden. Ayafusi now calls for the set, Adelawole, guarded by Arija. Hesitation for the shot onto the left hand. Squeezes that one in off the glass. A little bit of spin on the ball to sneak it in. Now Hayden in transition on the other end of the floor. Out to Dietrich. And Duku sets the screen, slips through the gap. Dietrich onto the left hand. Caught in a trap. Finds Hayden. He settles for the long two. Bounces off the back of the ring. Dietrich will reset the offense for the right. Fresh 14 for them. Jimenez. Jimenez off the dribble, knocked away by De Luola. End line possession for the Loughborough Riders. Yeah, only five on the shot clock here. It'll be interesting to see what uh, Loughborough do on the baseline possession. Jimenez gets the ball into play. Dietrich, quick mid-range opportunity and a rebound now for Polian as he rips that one down. Here he comes in transition. Guarded by Dietrich, Polian onto the right hand. A little bit too much power on his layer, bounces over to the other side off the backboard, Jimenez. Now with Dietrich up top, looks down low, and Duku body shaking, going to work, and Duku floats it up high off the front of the ring. 
fight for the rebound. That's what we like to see, some nice competitive action early on in this one. Four to seven, six minutes 50 to play here in the first quarter. You're live, NBL England. Loughborough Riders taking on Hamill Storm. Napoleon in the block. Aims for the short corner shot. Bobbles over the ring. Oh, almost a backcourt violation there by Jimenez. But Dietrich will get his feet set before he catches the ball. Jimenez, now on the left-hand side, guided by Adelawola. Driving, skipped across, and Duku in the corner. Bounce pass inside to Hayden. And a rebound almost by Afusi. A foul has been called. I believe that foul will be called number five. Bode Adelawola in the box out, just kind of sticking his butt out a little bit. Uh, putting Carl Jimenez at a disadvantage. I guess that's why the foulers were called on that one. Yeah, I think his positioning was just off there um, from what the referee signalled. I didn't like the use of the body. Fight for the rebound. And Wola comes up with possession. Foul is called here on the floor. Foul this time is called by number six, Jimenez, for a push. And a substitution checking in for... Loughborough Riders, number four, Joe Belak checks into the game. Arija will head to the bench. Loughborough do have lots of players on their bench that are ready to come on and make an impact. In the last game against the, the Nottingham Hoods, Colin Tifa was big, 19 points and eight rebounds. He stepped up in that game, so he'll be looking to try and make that happen again. A foul is called on Williams on the shot. That's not what you want as your first action coming into the game, giving away a foul on a fading uh, deep two, I believe. But uh, let's see if uh, Joe can uh, find his rhythm. Foul was called on number four, Bielek. And now Williams will find himself on the free throw line. Already five points personal for, for him. As his first free throw bobbles in and out of the ring, do apologize if you're having any technical difficulties watching the stream at this moment in time. We will work to try and get that fixed. As Williams gets the second to go to six points personal. Now we've got a nice question here in the, the YouTube chat. Uh, why is Harrison not playing today? We actually don't have a reason as per why he's not here today. Just that he's not in the roster. We don't believe that there's an in injury in of any kind. Just purely availability. Here's Jimenez. Jimenez with the Euro step to the rack. His late with a little bit too much spinach on it. Here's Adelawola. Mike Williams stop and pop for three. Rebounded by Jimenez. Jimenez collecting his third rebound of the game already. Uh, yet to convert on the offensive end. And now drive from Bielak tries to find a teammate, but in straight into the hands of Greg Polian. Mike Williams and Greg Polian both hailing from Brooklyn, New York. Both having good NCAA Division One opportunities. And a big three now. Ayofusi lights out. And there's that three-point shooting that we were talking about to here before the game. Uh, Loughborough need to have an answer for that. And a foul has been called here. It'll be a second personal for Adelawola. It's five minutes left to go here in the first. Four to 11, Hemmelstorm in the lead and a substitution will be forced. Checking into the game is number seven, Jack Burnell. Picking up his second foul there for Hemmel, having to take a seat. Whoops. Bode Adelawola, score first guard. 20 points per game so far this season for the Hemmelstorm. Here's Bilak up top with Hayden. Ball rotation round to Enduku. He'll look at the three, kind of wildly throws it, comes up the hand of Polian. Bielak makes do with a baseline fadeaway. Off the side of the ring, rebounded by the Storm. And Ayafusi almost steps straight into his three. Burnell will let it fly, though, off the back of the ring. And that's out of bounds, Loughborough Riders' possession. Saw a little bit more pace there with Hemel pushing the ball. They did slow it down once he got into the front court, but uh, a little bit more of an attempt at a transition offense there. I think Loughborough at this moment in time currently missing a lot of shots that they're taking. They're all mid-range or long-range uh, uh, twos and tend to be bouncing out of the way and cleaning up the boards 
on the defensive end is Hemel, and they do have the opportunity to break out a little bit more. Jimenez now into the corner with Bilak. Bilak for three. And you can put some money on him knocking that down, but he doesn't get it to go, and it's out of bounds. Stays with the Hemel Storm just off the hands of Victor and Duku. Yeah. Loughborough have to be happy with that look at the basket there. Joe Bilak wide open. Uh, he likes to shoot it from the corner. Unfortunately, that time it didn't drop for him, but uh, I'm sure if he gets it again, he'll relish that opportunity. And substitution checking into the game for the Loughborough Riders. Number 31, David Aputa. Oyofusi now on top, hands it off to Levi Noel. Levi Noel calls the offense back out to Oyofusi. Let's see what we've got here. Almost like a flex shaped action, but Mike Williams is going to work on to the right hand for two. Hesitation on the dribble, dribbles hard into the defender, uses the inside hand to finish. Tough yeah. to guard. Yeah, beautiful finish there from the guard. Takes the contact, finishing off the glass with the soft touch. Jimenez tries to go against Mike Williams himself. And what you'll hear today as Mike Williams gets it to bounce off the bat ball rebounded by Duke is a lot of appreciation for the guard role as both myself and my friend Dom here are both vertically challenged but I've always used our size to our advantage big three by the way there for Joe Bielak yeah that's just what we were talking about earlier he got his second look and uh, he knocked it down that'll be great for his confidence early on here's Levi Noel commanding the offense Mike Williams curls off the screen for Mayafusi. Mayafusi pops out for three, and he'll rattle around the ring, rebounded by B. Like nice action there from the Storm. Found the right shot. Here's Nduku. He's all alone. Victor Nduku for three. Cash money. Yeah, great little action there. He slipped up off the screen, popping to outside the three. Defender's nowhere near and knocks it down. Straight and sorry, just like that, straight to a three-point game. Riders back to back threes, 10 to 13 the score now as we enter the final two minutes and 20 seconds. Oyafusi drives, the foul is called, foul called on Aputa. Unnecessarily reaching in there, I feel Oyafusi was already two uh, defenders around him, standing strong in that situation. Could have just put him off his shot. Substitution for the left for Riders checking into the game is number 10, Colin Tifo. Yeah, those ones are always a tough one. You'd like to see the defender maintain their verticality there, staying straight, but uh, he just got tempted to reach in for the ball there, caught him on the arm, and now he's on the line for two. Let's see if he can convert. Now also checking into the game, number nine, Hafiz Abdul for the Hemel Storm. Last season was at the S formerly Essex and, and Leopards, had a great uh, run with the Leopards and also performance, and that was part of Sun Live Basketball Academy with Coach Josh Merrington and also part of Charnwood's program uh, in the time when Josh Merrington was there. Now Ayafusi on the line, rattles around the ring and in. And he'll get two for two from the free throw line. Three for Bilak off the front of the ring. Long pass ahead, Jack Burnell all alone. He goes for the dunk, absolutely flops it, rolls off the ring. And now Antifo on the other end of the floor almost blows the layup down the other side. Gets it to drop though. Yeah, Hemel won't be happy with that. I think he changed his mind just before, went for the finger roll and um, got too much uh, of the ring on the ball and it just rolled out. I know many coaches that were very disappointed with him. I'm sure Jack Benel will bounce back from that one. Here's Ayafusi off the dribble. Ayafusi all the way to the rack. Too strong off the glass. Rebounded by Antifo, gets it to Jimenez. Yeah, I think he felt like he was hit there, but no call. Play continues. Carl attacking the paint. Oh, turnover here. Levi on the ball. Noel down the other end. Onto the left hand on the inside corner of the ring. And Tifa will come up with possession. He's going, charging to the basket. And Tifa onto the left hand. Gets his own offensive rebound. Out to Joe Bilak for three. And that bobbles around. Rebounded by the Hemelstorm. Ayafusi with another rebound to his name. This game suddenly come alive in the last minute and a half. Uh, unfortunately, missed layups isn't what you usually like to see, but some end-to-end -end stuff. Three-point game here, 55 seconds on the clock. Polian, he'll wind up a three, drills it from downtown. Top of circle, you know, no hesitation really from him there. Confidence in the shot. Hand down, man down. Yeah, and that's what we were discussing, that three-point game is going to be very important today. 
uh, which team can capitalize on it. Jimenez kicks it out. Three ball now for Aputa. And Levi Noll comes up with a defensive rebound. Burnell on the left-hand side, bounce pass inside. Polian mid-range two. And he's got the hot hand now. He's feeling himself 12 to 20. And this will be the last possession potentially here on the first quarter. 10 seconds on the clock. Jimenez, screen from Aputa. And Tifo rises, Jimenez with the hesitation, kicks it out from the free throw line. And Tifo, and that one was way right. Yeah. And that's the end of the first quarter, 12-20 to score. Great start to the game, Dom. Yeah, great first quarter there from both sides. Uh, I think Hemel will be very happy with an eight-point lead, even with a couple of missed layups. I think for Loughborough, it's just about making shots. Uh, they're taking good looks. I think they're happy. Um, if I was on that bench, most of the shots they've been taking are, are good looks at the basket. They've just failed to convert, and uh, they'll be looking to change that moving forward in this game. Look for Riders shooting 25% uh, from the field overall, 33% uh, from three and 21% 21 from two. Uh, leading with eight points is Mike Williams for the Hemel Storm. Seven rebounds and five points. Uh, for Ayofusi and Greg Polian starting to get going with five points to his name also. Coming up for the Riders is Jonas Dietrich with four points and Duku with three and Joe Bielak with three also uh, in this game so far. So as we did mention, it really, it, it, it is those missed opportunities for the Riders. The shooting percentage way too low at this moment in time. I'm sure Coach Mark, Mark John will try and get the guys going. Yeah, I think, uh, you know, you've got to instill them the confidence at this point. Uh, like I said, I think he'll be happy with the shots they've been taking generally. Um, they've just got to shoot the ball with a little bit more confidence. There's maybe been a couple of times of hesitating between shooting or passing, and I think uh, he'll just want to see them let it fly with a little bit more confidence. Kind of how Hemel have been shooting the ball, especially in that last couple of minutes for um, Greg Polian. He, uh, you know, was letting it fly with real confidence from the mid-range and from outside. So we're getting ready now as the teams has their final talks going into the second quarter here at Loughborough University. Eight point game, 12 to 20 to score. Don't forget GB men taking on Germany at 4 p.m. And that's free, I believe, live on the FIBA YouTube page. Make sure you get behind the GB team and show the fellas some love as they are on their conquest for the 2022 Eurobasket qualification. Yeah, exciting opportunity for GB's men's today, this, later this afternoon. Uh, if they can get that win and they need another result to fool their way, uh, they'll advance. And, um, you know, they've got a strong roster. Ovi Soko re-entering the 12-man squad. And we've got some good seniority too in the likes of Dan Clark. Um, and a couple of BBL talents as well are in that team uh, who have been playing well throughout the domestic season. So we'll see what happens. So here we go. Back into the action. Walters is checking to the game. Abdul to the rack. Foul is called. It's called on Aputa once again. Over committing himself a little bit too much and that's why he's got two personal fouls early on. Coach Mark Jarum is not happy with that. Substitution checking into the game number 21, Victor Nduku. Aputa will take a break. Yeah, Loughborough look like they're going for a bit of a smaller lineup to start the second quarter here. We'll see if they're trying to push the pace or not. Uh, be interesting to see. Well, we've heard from Harrison Gamble as to why he's not here. His wife is in labor, but he's still watching the game on YouTube. Big shout out to you, Harrison. I uh, hope all goes well and everyone stays healthy. Uh, wishing you all the best. Here's Abdul on the line. Gets the second free throw to go. And here come the riders now, Jimenez. And Duku to the left-hand side into the game, Kanu Goodza. Greg Wilde also into the game, the, the charm with starting guards. Here's Greg Wilde, fires it up, bounces off the back of the ring. Greg Polian put under pressure. Hamill Storm can keep it under control and a nice easy layup for Shaquille Lewis. Yeah, beautiful outlet pass there. He got his head up early, saw his runner out in the lane, almost getting a seal straight away down low for two. Jimenez. Off the dribble, bounce pass along the baseline, finds Wild. Now with Goodza with the spin, and now steps inside, and a travel violation is called. The step wasn't, the step wasn't illegal. It was the fact that he didn't go to score at that moment in time. Went out to pass and lifted that pivot foot at the back. 
Yeah, I think there was a little bit of a drag there on the back foot on the on the on the move. A um, little bit unlucky, you know. Another ref <laughs> that might have gone if he was moving a bit quicker. Allen up top, Shaquille Walters long two, rebounded by Wild, and a foul is called off the ball. Foul is called at number ten and Tifo battling against Greg Polian. End line possession now for the Hemel Storm. First personal, second team. Tough call there, I think. I think they're just fighting for that rebound. Uh, but Hemel get another bite of the cherry. Walters. His shot is off. Hemel will keep possession on the baseline. 14 seconds on the shot clock. Abdul skips it out. Now with Allen at the top. Floats it up inside as Polian gets the seal. And a drive to the basket now, Abdul. Nice hands from Jimenez, he pokes it away. Victor Nduku going towards the basket. And that's out of bounds, no foul called. I believe Loughborough will retain possession. I think the ball's poked away, or well, that's uh, what the referee saw from his vantage point. And uh, Victor Nduku actually bursting out into a sprint there, some speed from the big man. I don't think I've ever seen him move that fast. Yeah, it's great to see so much of the young talent on the floor right now, and um, they're playing at pace. Greg Wilde, a double foul called. The basket does count. The basket will count from Wilde. The foul is called at number 21. Uh, Polian. Apologies, 21 Eduku and number 9 Abdul. Yeah, not sure what happened there. I guess the ref didn't like the physicality of fighting for the ball. Well, as we've noted already, it's getting a little bit tasty inside the paint there. But with the undersized uh, roster for, for the Liverpool Riders, they do have to battle on all uh, positions on the floor to try and fight. And sometimes it's the things that the referees don't see that you've got to do. A slight pull of a shirt, you know, a slight hold. You know, sometimes if the ref can't see it, then you've got to do it to try and gain an advantage. Substitution checking into the game. Number 13, Dietrich will check in. Yeah, I think these guys are moving at such speed and with such power, especially when they're inside. They're really battling and, uh, you know, there's going to be the stray arm or stray push every now and again. Jimenez now onto the left-hand side with Dietrich. Dietrich looks down low with Victor Nduku. He'll turn and get to the rack against Walters. Found himself underneath the basket. Beautiful spin move towards the baseline there off the catch. Caught his man, uh, got him on his hip. Just couldn't quite get the finish, but he'll go to the line. Five fouls here in the first one minute 50 seconds of the, the second quarter. And Duku on the line, 14 to 24. Hemel Storm in the lead by 10. Can't convert on the first. Let's see if he can make the second. Don't forget, if you're watching this live on the YouTube today, let us know your thoughts on today's game. Always happy to interact with people getting involved. And as we know, Hamel Storm have a huge following. I've been at many, uh, had the opportunities to host many finals where Hamel Storm army, should we say, come down and support their team. They have a great home day, a great club structure, home game day, should I say, a great club structure. And they really do have a, a fantastic support base. I'm sure many of those will be tuning today and hopefully we can get basketball back Live and direct to you soon. Here's Dietrich for three down the other end of the floor. Williams comes up with a rebound behind the back. Bounce pass now to Abdul. Kind of driving to the rack. Offensive foul called on Afiz Abdul. He was a little bit out of control. Yeah, I think uh, the defender did a good job getting body position early and he just kept going. He made no attempt to go round the guy and that's why he's been called for the charge but a beautiful bounce pass in the mid-court to lead to that transition opportunity, has to be said. And a timeout called now by the Hemel Storm head coach, Drew Spinks, wants to talk it over um, as we had a, a bright start here to the second quarter. But once again, Hemel Storm finding their rhythm a little bit in terms of scoring and the Riders having to kind of find themselves and try and catch up. Yeah, the game's definitely found, its, uh, found a bit more speed to it, getting up and down the floor. Be interesting to see if this is a... Uh, the speed that the game settles for or whether they'll uh, slow back down into more half-court set offences. Um, we'll have to see as the game continues. 
So don't forget, as mentioned, lots of other NBL action happening. Bradford Dragons taking on Where the Thunder at 2 o'clock. Team Newcastle taking on Essex Rebels at 4 o'clock. Uh, the Barking I mean London Lions taking on Solent Kestrels. They look to bounce back from their BBL trophy loss to Surrey. And the Thames Valley Cavaliers will be taking on the Derby Trailblazers. Actually been really quite excited by Derby uh, this season. They're having a fantastic season, 8-1. and one, And their roster has come together quite nicely. Former Leicester Riders, well, Rima Lascelles, um, has, has made a huge impact. But they've got some great athleticism, Blake Bowman uh, and many other fantastic players. Big shout out to Derby putting in the work this season. Let's get back underway here. And Dooku. Jimenez now looks down low with Hayden. Finding Greg Wilde. Now it's pump fake and Dooku with a pump fake of his own. Dribbles left. Long strides towards the basket. Fade away mid-range over Greg Polion. Yeah, beautiful make there from uh, Victor and Dooku. It looked like they were... Oh, and they've taken the steal. Oh, Jonas Dietrich with the athleticism there. Picking it up, pumping over and finishing underneath. Yeah, I think that was the quick hands from uh, Carl Jimenez to create the opportunity. 19 to 24 now. A couple of quick buckets in succession. And the foul is called the number 21 in Duku for a hold. Substitution checking into the game. Number 10 and Tifo. Second personal for Duku. He'll need to take some time out. So it doesn't tally up those fouls. One of the biggest pet peeves as a coach is having to do your minute management based on foul trouble. Um, at least in the junior game, it's a real problem, wouldn't you say? Interception here now for the Riders. Here's Greg Wilde pushing down the other end of the floor. Wilde swatted away. In fact, the basket is good. Referee James Chester believing that the ball was on the way down in its flight path. And the two points will count. Much needed for the Liverpool Riders. And substitution checking into the game. And a Luola uh, re reintroducing himself after two quick fouls in the first quarter. Yeah, two... Uh, Big steals there for the Loughborough Riders uh, to make it a three-point game. Clearly, whatever was said in that timeout worked because they've come out... Um, absolute guns blazing. Yeah, absolutely. And now the full-court pressure here from the Loughborough Riders. Jimenez will put the pressure on Adelawola. Greg Wilde stands at half-court. Shaquille Walters inbounds the ball. Thumbs up play called here. Let's have a little look at this action. Okay, off the screen now. Mike Williams tips it into the hand of Adelawola. Two feet in the paint, bounce pass inside to Abdul. Really needing, not really had the finesse there to finish the shot. Uh, great body positioning, but just couldn't get the shot to go. Didn't have the touch off the window. And Tifo, bounce pass to find Dietrich, does find him. Same Wanted result. Another overpowered layup. But he's been drinking their protein shakes this morning. Polion. Dribbling inside against Greg Wilde. Bobbles around, rebounded by him. And Greg Wilde did well to stand against the big man. Absolutely, quite the mismatch there. You've really got to fancy yourself there for Hemel. Um, a good look at the hoop, but just couldn't convert. Wilde pulls up for three. That bounces out, rebounded by Polion. Polion. He'll pull up another mid-range two, and he'll get that one to go to the dear trick. And a timeout called now by the Luffer Riders. They'll want to talk it over. 21 to 26. Five minutes 44 left here in the second quarter as this game is very tactical and it's very technical and it's unfolding very slowly. Also, both teams have got seven fouls before, you know, well, nearly, not even halfway through this second quarter. So a lot of uh, actions here where we're seeing um, strong takes to the basket. We're seeing strong, strong screening sequences, uh, one after the other. And also uh, lots of communication on defense, really having to figure out what's happening. Yeah, the, uh, the individual matchups are great in this game. And it's uh, really making the, the teams think about how they're going to execute on offense. And they're having to run a lot of actions to create space for teammates to get open looks at the basket. Um, and as we see, Polian's racked up seven points four rebounds and an assist and he's really getting going and that's uh he's going to be causing problems for loughborough by the looks of it and they need to have an answer for that we just got a quick couple youtube comments daniel nuttall never on its way down and it didn't touch the backboard well I, I, you know what from this angle it looked like it was on the way down 
but at the same time, completely, in, you know, if we don't have all the different camera angles, we, ge we generally can't tell. Yeah, unfortunately, we're not uh, we're not blessed with uh, instant video replay here. But our vantage point, it did look like it was dropping down, and we agree with the referee. I'm afraid, but uh, keep those comments coming in. Absolutely, he, he's wild now. Up top with Jimenez, under pressure from Williams. Jimenez drives right. Underneath the basket, blocked at the ring by Abdul. He'll strip that one away, claws it back into his possession. Yeah, not only blocked, but gets the control of the ball as well, which is great to see. Abdul out now to Williams. Williams will step out of bounds, and the bucket would have been good. Oh, that must be a frustrating one for him there, because uh, beautiful action, getting wide open in the corner. Drops the shot, but uh, step backwards, I believe, and his heel hit the line. Jimenez. Now in Tifo, wild on the left-hand side, Dietrich and Jimenez pops off the screen from the high post. And Tifo and Dietrich set up for the double screen, Wild rejects it, goes to the right hand, rebounded by Polion, pushing forward here, bounce pass from Williams, Abdul onto the left-hand side, tries to finish with the right, does get it to go, rolls around the ring and in for two. Beautiful fast break basketball there from Hemel Storm. Dietrich, catch and shoot wide, open. Catch money, the captain knocks it down. Yeah, you, as a Loughborough Riders supporter, you've got to be happy with that. There was a uh, real confidence in that stroke. Caught it in stride and let it fly. Nothing but net. Drive from Adelawola. And a foul is called. And that'll put them on the line. I believe that's the fifth team foul for Riders, still with four minutes 18 on the clock. Foul was called number 13, Dietrich from Block, I believe. Substitution checking into the game, replacing number five, Greg Wilde, is number nine, Carney Goodza. And substitution for the Hamel Storm, checking into the game, number 11, Levi Noll. Greg Polian will take a breather. Be interesting to see here with still over four minutes on the clock. Uh, like you mentioned, a high foul count in this quarter. Uh, will Hamel be able to capitalize on uh, the team foul situation that Loughborough find themselves in? Williams on the line converts. And now he'll get a second chance at the free throw line after the foul. The team foul trouble. Friend Dom here let us know. There it is. Good to go. 30 points on the board for the Hamel Storm. Now Riders in possession. Good sir. Jimenez comes up the screen, a re-screen from Antifa. He'll roll to the basket. Jimenez tries to find him, but finds CJ Hayden, who hands it off to Dietrich. Clock at five. Jimenez has to go, and a foul is called. Yeah, a little bit of confusion there, I believe, in the uh, in the Loughborough Riders' offense. Um, I think someone got a little bit confused, resulting in a kind of awkward handoff on the elbow there, but Carl Jimenez managed to create something out of nothing, draw the contact, and... Uh, We'll see what they can get off this sideline possession, I believe. Yeah, and the uh, referee actually giving a warning to the bench. Not liking how vocal they were being over that. As Riders get the ball into play, here's Jimenez. Jimenez now into the corner with Dietrich. Dietrich floats strongly to the basket, off the front of the ring, rebounded by Hafiz Abdul. Adelawola with speed. Goodsa stays in front. Ayafusi hands it off. Adelawola. Has to be said, there's some great on-ball defense being played by both teams here. High pressure in the half court and in the full court. Jimenez, no look pass to find Goodza cutting baseline. Goodza, now up top with Dietrich. Jimenez. Jimenez, Euro step to the bucket on the left hand for two, his first two points of the game. There's Carl Jimenez doing a little bit of everything in this first half. I think he's already got five rebounds and five assists, and those were his first points. Dietrich, two-handed slam down the middle of the floor, and a timeout call by the Hamel Storm. They will want to have a word about that. Riders now within two, 28 to 30. Three minutes, three seconds on the clock. Riders finding their rhythm, punching above the big weights on the top of the league in the form of Hamel Storm. Big shout out to all of you guys in the YouTube section.
keep showing your love for the team that you're supporting. We've got a nice little anecdote uh, from Chester Donnelly saying that Hemel in Dutch means sky, so the storm makes sense. Plus, they wear orange like the Dutch national team. Anyway, interesting fact from him as he says that, that Chester says that actually Hemel is one of those teams that should be looking towards the BBL as we explained earlier. They've got a great fan base that would definitely help to propel them there. Big shout out to Kennedy Adamu in the comments. Uh, picking up his mate Dom, former Loughborough rider. Lucian Christophers, hope you're good Lucian, putting in the work uh, overseas. Uh, Sarah Adlington getting involved, supporting the Storm today. And if you are supporting your team, let us know your thoughts on today's games and action. Yeah, thanks for the shout out in the comments. Uh, any personal connections there from university and family? Much appreciated. Uh, this is a good game. Let's see what this last three minutes have. Loughborough closing the gap to just two points uh, with that big dunk from Jonas Dietrich. Um, Steele's really uh, keeping them in the ball game, making it competitive. Uh, they're still lacking on the field goal percentage, but obviously wide open dunks help with that. 11 points personal for Jonas Dietrich. Leading by example, as you would hope that your captain does. We've got five or six, six rebounds. And two points for Carl Jimenez, the usual, filling up the stat sheet. Here's Bode Adelawola, who's generally having a quiet game as for his standards. Williams comes up with the rebound there. Second chance, and he goes down to the floor. Williams back up to his feet. He looks like the floor. he's hobbling. Might have been an ankle there. Jimenez to the rack for the left hand two. And a warning has been given to the Liverpool Riders for touching the ball. They all look like they might have an injury issue here. Who's that? Mike Williams really looks like he's struggling. He's staying on the floor, but he's uh, got a noticeable limp. Battling through with that Brooklyn, New York mentality. Here's Adeluola. Williams tries to find room off the screen. Levi Noel will come up with possession. Noel finds Polian for three off the front of the ring. Rebounded by Goodza. Tied game here now. Loughborough Riders with a chance to go into the lead since the first bucket of the game. Here's Jimenez. Telling Antifo to clear out. That's just showing that leadership there, directing traffic on the floor. Goods a shot, he'll fall short, rolls around the ring and out. Oyafusi comes in with the rebound. Adeluola now. One minute 50 left to play here in the first half. Adeluola, Euro step, finish oh. off the glass. Beautiful move. And he'll make that one count. Two-point lead for the Storm. Jimenez, bounce pass to Hayden. Bullet pass inside to find Jimenez, and the foul is called. Foul will be called, I believe, on number 11, Levi Noel. And that's two shots on the line for the Riders. Yeah, just a little bit too much physicality there for the ref's liking. He feels hard done by, still asking for an explanation. Uh, but Carl Jimenez on the line. Jimenez, bubbles around the ring and out. I don't believe Carl Jimenez has uh, taken a seat this game yet. Something has to be said for that motor. Playing yeah. he, and he's been doing it all season long for the Liverpool Riders. He, he's genuinely played almost every possible minute. And with a play of his uh, ability and experience, you know, you wouldn't expect any, any less. No, absolutely not, but you know, Staying healthy, uh, what are we, nine, ten games into the season, along with all the other training that he, he does in his affiliation through the club. Um, an impressive feat. Dietrich now pulls up in transition for three off the back of the glass. Coach Mark Jam scratching his head on that one. Don't think he was too happy with that option. Not with the clock winding down as it is now as we come under a minute. It would be nice to go into the lead. Oyafusi now from the elbow for two. Puts them in the lead by three. Here's Goodza. Now with Jimenez. Jimenez turning the corner well. Williams slaps it away and Tifo cleans it up. Carlin Tifo for two. Does that now, count as an assist for Carl Jimenez? I, I guess we might do. We'll see what the statistician says. Ayafusi for three. He'll drill that one. They're getting it going, shooting the ball really well, Hemel. This last couple of minutes, mid-range and from outside. Ten points for Ayafusi. Jimenez now. He'll use the clock for this final offense. Well, there is separation between the shot clock 
uh, and the scoreboard just by a couple of seconds. Here's Goodza. Goodza up top with Dietrich. He'll pull the trigger for three now. Looks for the reply. Rebounded by Adelawola. Five seconds to go. Stripped away by Goodza and Tifo to beat the buzzer for two. And that's an air ball at the front of the ring. Carl Jimenez pleading for the ball on the three-point line. And I'll be honest with you, Eliza Shuler like Kyle in a close game like this, you've got to give it up. Uh, but it will end here in the first half, 33 to 37. How have you found the game, uh, Dom? Really exciting game. I think uh, if we look at the stats a little bit, we can see that from the first quarter, Loughborough Riders have really pulled up their shooting performance. Um, they're still not where they'd like to be. Hemel is sitting at 40% from the field, which is, I think, what gives them that lead. But uh, if we look at the turnovers, or the steals, rather, five steals for Loughborough, I think that's what's really keeping them in touching distance. They've had a couple of big momentum plays off those steals and converting them. So 10 points personal uh, for Mike Williams, 10 points for Oyafusi, 7 points for Greg Polian, uh, the big three so far, but also I forgot to add 10 points, 9 rebounds to Oyafusi, huge on the boards for Hemelstorm, 11 points for Jonas Dietrich, hitting, making that big play to keep Loughborough Riders around. They really did after that timeout call from Mark Jarum, really did get into it and start to make little deflections, little steals, a little bit more aggression on defense, really not actually getting too much into the battle of, of fouling in the paint as we saw early on in the beginning of the court and to then really turn that into to offensive opportunities. Um, huge shout out to everybody in the comments going crazy representing who you're supporting. Big shout out to Oliver Parr. We've got Ethan who's from New York. Welcome Ethan joining us all the way from the USA. Former uh, look for rider Reese Pinnock athlete. Reese Pinnock is an athlete. Uh, big shout out to Izzy Smith. Uh, Mary Sutherland James, this is my, I guess, my story for the day, I guess. You and James from the Hemel Storm uh, uh, is actually was my next door neighbor. And we grew up together for many of our young years. I'm a little bit older than him. So big shout out uh, to Mary and Ewan. Uh, uh, home away from home for him. Yeah, home away, home away from home is, is, is Hemel. Uh, so thank you very much for tuning in. Uh, please continue to let us know your thoughts as we go on throughout today's game. Tell your friends and family to join in with us a little later on as we've now entered the halftime break. Myself, Ty Hadjit, alongside uh, Dominic McDonough. 33 to 37 the score. The Hemel Storm in the lead. We'll be back soon.
A warm welcome back to Loughborough University for today's NBL England Division 1 men's fixture. The Loughborough Riders taking on Hemel Storm 33 to 37 in favour of the Hemel Storm. My name is Ty Hadger alongside with me my co-commentator for today making his debut Dominic McDonough. An exciting first half of basketball for those who are just joining us. Tell us a little bit about that first half, Dom. Yeah, great first half of basketball there. Um, like we were saying just before the break, for anyone who wasn't with us, um, it's really field goal percentages and steals uh, for me have been the main, the main key factors in that first half. Loughborough keeping it close to some steals, but they really need to pick up that field goal percentage if they still want to be in contention for this at the end of the game. It was an exciting uh, start overall for the setup for the second half. In the beginning, quite a slow paced, tactical uh, based game where both teams really running through their sets, really looking to go deep into the options in their sets to try and score. Then coming into the second quarter, really um, tick for tack foul situation where seven fouls within the first. Uh, four minutes or so into the game. Loughborough then had a timeout, which caused them to have a burst of scoring. Uh, Jonas Dietrich coming up big alongside Jimenez, etc., to kind of kill the flow of the Hemel Storm. Then they started to chip away once again, and, and Ayafusi with a big three to kind of keep them alive. And now we'll get, this, get ready to get this second half underway with the starting fives have made their way onto the floor. Starting for the riders in the second half here, Jimenez, Dietrich, uh, Arija, Hayden, and then Duku started for the Storm. Adelawola, Mike Williams, number 11, Levi Null, number 21, Greg Folian, and number 15, Taya Ofusi. Now, let's get this one underway. Dietrich rattles it in for two. Big play for the Loughborough Riders to get things underway here in the third quarter. Don't forget, tell your friends and family, get involved on the live stream in the YouTube comments. Let us know who you're supporting, what your thoughts are on today's game, and be part of this great British basketball community. Down low, play now here with the Storm. Polian going one-on-one -on -one with Nduku. Nduku standing very strong there, really using his strength to not allow Polian to bully him down. Get some great defense there. I thought I almost saw a shuffle of the feet and a travel, but no call. But uh, Loughborough come up with the defensive rebound and are now running their offense. Jimenez up top with Dietrich. Dietrich hops into the paint, deflected out of bounds. Ayafusi knocks it away on the baseline. Jonas getting a lot of usage in this game uh, early in the first half. It's great for him to knock down his first shot of the second, see if he can continue that. Aduku in the corner for three. Off the front of the ring, An offensive rebound from the captain Dietrich and he'll clean it up and tie the game up very quickly here in the third quarter. Hemel Storm in a tied ball game against the Riders. Don't forget Riders missing Harrison Gamble today. Yeah, huge play there from Jonas Dietrich, uh, tallying up 13 points for the game. It was almost like he heard me say whether he was going to get going or not, and he had an answer for me. Polian shot, couldn't get it to go again. Here's Jimenez now off the dribble. Up top with Nduku, and Nduku for three. Bounces around. I thought that actually touched the wire, which usually when the ball touches the wire, the ball goes the other way. Here's Williams all the way to the rack of foul. It's called the basket is not good. The foul was called on the floor. Yeah, I think a little reach in there just before uh, he actually gathered to go into his shot. That's the ruling. Yep. If uh, the ball's still being dribbled, you're not in the act of shooting. Hand check was called by the referee. And now ball being put into play by Levi Knoll. Here's Adeloola. Looking for a teammate. Adeloola now drives to the basket, gets underneath with the reverse for two and gets it to go. Beautiful body control there to stay under control. Uh, slipped through the contact and got it to go for two inside. Six points personal for Adeloola. Now with Jimenez. Jimenez off the screen. Jonas Dietrich wide open for three. Bounces off the back of the ring. A fight for the rebound. And actually, with a big uproar from both benches, referee Roger Harrison calls. A jump ball, I believe. An arrow ball. Yes. And uh, the play kind of seemed to have continued after the ball had been won, should we say, by a Hemelstorm player. 
but co uh, referee Roger Harrison saw fit to blow it up that both players had the balls on the hand and at that moment I think when there's so many big bodies so close together the referee is looking for safety there he sees two players coming down with the ball and he calls well, we a see, no, jump ball. referee looking for safety we don't want to see no safety we want to see these guys go at it it was a foul as a foul but you know, safety, health and safety. Big three now from Eden Luola. Huge. That takes him up now to nine points in this game. He had been very quiet in the first half with only four points, and now he's starting to get going. Jimenez, ball fake, nice pass inside to Hayden. A little bit of Scottish magic. I believe that's Hayden's first points to get himself going. Important contributor for Loughborough Riders. Uh, see if he can tick over a few, mo few more in this second half. Oh, Adelawola finds Polian. Long two. You and know, I've been really interested by that with Hemel. Lots of teams are going away from shooting the sort of deep two-point shot, but they seem to take it every time they get it. Well, I guess if you're wide open, your feet are in the front of the line or behind it, you just got to let it fly. Here's Jimenez from way downtown letting that one fly. Well, as a coach, we always got to say an open shot's a good shot, right? So uh, no complaints there, especially when they're making them. Ball pinballing around. It still ends up with the Storm. Polian will kick it out. Oyafusi now. Williams one-on-one -on -one with Nduku. Showing off the handle. Crosses him right up and lets it fly. See ya, Nduku. It was a mismatch. It's very hard to Nduku to come up against the speed of Mike Williams, but that was a clean crisscross from Mike Williams. That's Dietrich. Uh, some experience for the young man to learn from there. M Mike Williams really putting the moves on to drop that. A region now on top with Hayden. Jimenez off the dribble. Jimenez to the rack. Pump fake. Tries to find a Duku inside. Shot clock violation. Hamill Storm will get it back. 39 to 46. Hamill Storm are starting to get right into this third quarter. Big shout out to everybody watching uh, from all over the world. To be fair, we've had uh, somebody watching from New York. We've got uh, some people supporting up in Edinburgh. We've got Greg's uncle and aunt checking in from Dallas, Texas. International right here, NBL. A foul is called here as uh, Polian drives to the basket. The foul is called the number 21 and Duku. I believe that will be his third personal foul. And substitution checking in. Oh, it's fourth personal foul. And substitution checking into the game's number 10, Colin Tifo. And Duku shrugged shoulders, walks off the court, very, very, obviously very disappointed with himself. We won't probably see him now for the fourth quarter. And the riders will miss uh, the inside presence he's been bringing in this game. Uh, yeah, just as we were saying, it's uh, a terrible situation to be in when your fouls are dictating your minutes. And you can see the disappointment there. Uh, in Victor Nduku's face as he had to leave the floor there as he can't risk getting fouled out this early on in the game. Getting it to go from the line. Riders have to tie in the game up now. Trail <laughs> by seven points. Need to start making some of their opportunities here as Dietrich rises top of the three-point line. Doesn't get it to go. Something has to be said here about Hemel Storm's defense in this first sort of five minutes of this quarter. They've really come out firing, getting a, a shot clock violation, multiple stops. And one, count it. The basket is good. Foul is called. Greg Polian, chance at a three point play, and a timeout is called. That's a huge play there, getting the and one. The momentum really does seem to be in Hemel's favor right now. and. Uh, I believe that was Mark Jaram saying, I need to talk this over with the troops. And 100% definitely needs to talk it over because they were in this game. They started with such excitement and such energy. They have had some good looks at the three-point line. Haven't been able to maybe knock those shots down to keep them hanging around. But that's for one thing. If you're not going to make it on the other end, you cannot uh, let them... Uh, heat up on the other side of the floor and the Hemel Storm are starting to heat up on the other side of the floor. Greg Polian really trying to batter it down inside. Uh, uh, Adelawola also starting to feel it, get himself back into the game. And now the, the, the leading uh, leading experience and, and players within the Hemel Storm starting to, to find their rhythm and really take a hold of this game. Yeah, I mean, Hemel have got some great balance on the offensive end of the floor as well. They've got, I mean, three players in double figures, um, 
one approaching with a chance to tack on a couple more points from the line here. I mean, when they've just got so many people producing on the offensive end, it's, it's tough to stop them. Ride is currently shooting three for 17 from the three-point line. That's only 17% in this one. Hemel Storm, four for 10, 40% from three. Live by the three, die by the three is the famous saying. Exactly. I mean, we don't know what Coach Mark Jaron was saying in that timeout, but if I was down there, I'd want to see a little bit more dynamic play. I feel like uh, Loughborough Riders were playing better in the first half when they were playing at a bit more speed and getting into the paint, even if it was for a kick to the three. Um, I'd like to see them try and go back to that a little bit in this next five minutes. So there we go. Greg Polion completes the three-point play. 39 to 51 the score. Here's Carl Jimenez now for the Loughborough Riders. Jimenez looks up top of the key with Hayden. Dietrich now into the corner. Arija for three off the side of the ring. Rebounded offensively by Dietrich. Huge rebound there. Really rose up to tip that away from the defending player. Jimenez, Jimenez in and out dribble against Levi Noll. Now finds Antifa, two feet in the paint. And the travel violation is called as the Hemel Storm will get possession back. I'm surprised there. I thought he was going to get the blocking foul. I thought he had uh, made a great move to the middle of the paint and the defender was a little bit late. But uh, the referee has a much better angle than me. So uh, who am I to comment? Here's Noll. Right, is still sticking with man-to-man uh, -man defense here. And a five-out offense as Oyafusi rolls inside Polian now with Adelawole on the right-hand side of the floor. Up top with Levi Noll. Adelawole, Shot hesitation. Slips right through the defenders. And that's out of bounds. Look for Riders' possessions as that shot clock did wind down. Substitution checking into the game. Checking in for the first time, number eight, Chester Morell. Alongside him, the 31, David Apusa will check into the game. Conroy Hayden. And Arija will take a break. Arija not really found himself in this game. Started both the first half and the second. Yeah, and Loughborough Riders could really do with getting another player producing on the offensive end of the floor right now. Jonas can't do it all on his own. And uh, <coughs> they need to tack some points to close down this lead. I believe an offensive foul was called right there. 14 fouls now for the Liverpool Riders. Four minutes, eight seconds to go here in the third. Hemel Storm back with possession. Here's Levi Noll. Noll moves the ball round now to Adelawola. Screen from Williams. Williams now will go pick and pop with Greg Polion. Greg Polion winds up the three. Oh, that's just beautiful basketball right there. The perfectly executed pick and pop from Hemel Storm. Defense had to go to the driver and it left Polian wide open on the three-point line. Brooklyn, New York is in the building. Here's Jimenez. Jimenez now. Bounce pass down low to Aputa. Aputa up top. Back to Jimenez. Jimenez now. The defense is really intense here. Ryder's struggling to penetrate. And Jimenez now has to force his way to the basket and finds the contact. But I think that's a great decision from Carl Jimenez. He's creating something basically out of nothing there. And he, he you saw him think about it. He could have settled for the three-point shot, but he's got right into the paint. He's drawn a foul, and he'll go to the free throw line to see if he can add two points to his record for today's game. First personal foul there called on Teo Yafusi. And now Carl Jimenez finds himself on the line with a chance to chip away at this 14-point gap. Jimenez. Knocks down the first. I believe that takes him to sixes across the board in rebounds, assists, and points. And he'll knock down the second. Now, end line possession for the Storm. Get the ball into play. Here's Adelawola. And that's a 1 2 2 press here that's broken down nicely for the Storm. Oyafusi. Adelawola rejects the screen. Beautiful drive to the basket, right over the top of Intifo. Bode Adelawola making it happen. Morel catch and shoot in the corner. Cold off the bench, airballs it. Now Noll with possession. Polian, 
Hemmel getting every look they want right now, getting right to the basket when they want to. Another look inside the paint, and he gets it to go. And the Luola off the glass once again. They're really capitalizing on the pick and roll situation at this moment in time, and playing individual basketball, but it seems to be working. Jimenez now finds Morel once again. Up top with Jimenez. Jimenez, Euro stepping into the paint, does release it, but throws it up under the contact. Noel will pick it up. Now Polian ahead, Dietrich, and a foul is called as Dietrich reaches round the defender, sorry, the attacking player. And again, that foul count for Loughborough Riders coming into play. A little bit less on the clock in this quarter, but we'll see the foul at midcourt leading to free throws for Hemel Storm. That's third personal foul for Dietrich, substitutions checking into the game for both teams. Jimenez finally will take a breather alongside in Tifo. Greg Wilde and Kanu Goods are checking for the Hemel Storm. Uh, Burnell, Hafiz Abdul into the game. And now another chance for Polion to get it to go. And we're almost reaching that 20 point gap in a game that at the beginning of this quarter was tied up. Yeah, this third quarter from Hemel Storm has just been firing in all cylinders. Uh, everything's been clicking for them right now and uh, I don't think they want this quarter to end. We've got two minutes to go and uh, let's see what they can do in these next two minutes. Abuta's shot is off long two. Now back with Hemel Storm in possession. Adeluola working his way to the rack again. Tip pass into the corner to Bernal for three. Bounces off the back of the ring. Some beautiful Foul ball movement called. there. Foul is called the number 21 Polian for a push on the offensive board. And I believe that will be his first personal foul actually in this one. It's surprising there for such a big guy who plays so physically, only picking up his first foul. He's got to be happy with that. He can't mind too much. Now Greg Wild, Greg Wild knocks it down for three. A much needed score there for Loughborough Riders. 44 to 58. One minute 35 left to play. Some great ball pressure here. And a little behind the back. That was cool. A foul is called the number nine Goodza for a hand check as Adeloyla hits the deck. That's his first personal foul. And now Adeloyla goes to the free throw line. Yet another foul for the Liverpool Riders in this third quarter and a chance for Adeloyla to put, take himself to 15 points in this game. Uh, and only having four points in the first half after missing out a little bit with some foul trouble. The 20 point per game guard for the Hemel Storm is now really starting to settle into his smooth rhythm that he's used to. And he has been an NBL vet for many years. Many Londoners will know, many guys around the UK will know, Bode is a baller. Here's Goodza. Now with Morel, left hand side of the floor, wild. Wild. Guarded by Abdul. Greg Wild. He's gonna have to find something himself. Step back. Greg Wild! Back to back out. threes. I don't think coach Mark Jaron was particularly happy with that choice of shot, but you know, when it drops like that as a coach, you, you know, what can you do? He's now brought the gap down to, to 30. Oh, the foul has been called once again, this time on Goodza. I think what we're seeing here is a veteran player with a lot of experience, uh, exposing perhaps the youth in Loughborough Riders side here, sort of with the hesitation in the backcourt making him reach, initiating the contact and getting himself to the line to try and add two more points. Substitution for the Hemel Storm, checking into the game number 12, Shaquille Walks is number 21, Greg Polian will take a deserved rest, 17 points personal, six rebounds so far in this game. This has just been a monstrous third quarter for uh, Hemel Storm, particularly that of uh, Bode Adelowu. Oh, good, sir. Going hard to the rack. Gets it to go. Gets it to go for two. And now the scoring being led by the two Charwood guards. Bringing the energy off the bench for the riders to keep them hanging around here in this game against the Hemel Storm, who are firing in all cylinders at this moment in time. Williams up top. Adeloola. Oh, what a beautiful crossover, Adeloola. His shot, unfortunately, bottles. 
out of the rim. His goods are now in the corner. Morel, stop and pop. Good to go. The youth coming off the bench from Charmwood to the Kent Crusaders. I think it was deemed a deep two by the official. I thought it was a three from our vantage point. But it will be called as a two, correct there. Now a 10-point game, Morel pushing the ball forward. Wild to beat the buzzer, unable to let it go. It would have been good because it came off the glass. Okay, so it, uh, it's not all lost now for the Loughborough Riders. They really have started to come back into the game. But still, I still feel a little uncertain about their offense. In fact, one of the comments, Coach Josh Thorne, Loughborough need to be a bit more patient on offense, make sure they get an inside touch before a perimeter shot and take good shots to guarantee rebound position and, def and defensive transition position, etc. Completely agree with your coach. Uh, I just guess it's the inexperience at this moment in time. And, and, and it's a huge learning curve. I know that probably we're getting deep into the season. Hopefully you would learn some of these points. But down the stretch in, in, in games against more experienced teams, they're really uh, being, found, big, being found out. Keep those comments coming in. Yes. Uh, great to see everybody getting involved. Tell your friends and family. Join us here live on the YouTube stream. Uh, the score is 51 to 60. One, an exciting third quarter, but Hemel Storm winning the quarter 24 to 18. To be honest, though, if you're Loughborough Riders, obviously you don't want to come out in the half and lose the quarter by six. But the way that quarter was going, the, the lead was stretching out to near 20 points. They'll be really happy with how they finished out that quarter with the last two and a half minutes. Um, and a couple of big triples, and as you said it earlier, you live and die by that three, but they're living by it right now, trying to get themselves back into this game. Five for 21 from the three-point line uh, overall for the Riders, 23% from the field, four for 12 for uh, the Hemel Storm from three-point percentage. On the terms of the statistic, personal statistics, 12 points, four rebounds, four assists for Mike Williams, 16 points, for Bode Adlawola, 10 points, 11 rebounds for Teo Yafusi, 17 points and 6 rebounds for Greg Polian, and 4 points, 4 rebounds for Afiz Abdullah. And for the Riders, Greg Wilde has finally hit double digits, 10 points for him, 15 points, 8 rebounds for Jonas Dietrich, 7 points, 6 rebounds, 6 assists, and 2 steals for Carl Jimenez. But now we'll get ready for this fourth and final quarter here. Um, and, and now we enter the fourth and final quarter. The way I like to do it is, is I like to invite everybody to let us know who you think your game MVP will be. Let's have that game MVP discussion. Let us know your thoughts in the comments section uh, onto the side of today's YouTube stream. Shot no good there for Loughborough. Here come the storm. Sitting in the half court defense here is Noel. Guarded by Morel. Noel looks inside to Polion. Tipped away there by Aputa. Wild bounce pass to Dietrich. Floating high and up and draws the foul. Levi Noel a little frustrated with himself. Yeah, I think he knew better there. It was just positioning. He knew that Jonas had got the better of him, but he had already left his feet. And at that point, there was nothing he could do about it. Nice take for Dietrich towards the basket. He'll get a chance at two free throws on the line. Harrison has given him the ball here. If he does miss this, I guess he'll get another chance to shoot because nobody was really in the lineup or didn't know what was happening there. Both teams taking the opportunity to have a team talk, it looked like. And now from the free throw line once again. Gets the second to go. And now closing the gate, the gap to single digits. Yeah, psychologically that's huge for Loughborough Riders to get scores early in the quarter, getting it to eight points. And now it's all about the defense for them. Can they get another stop? Oh, Yafusi stripped away now by Wild once again. Greg Wild pulling up all the way. Greg Wild and Warren gets it to go. The huge young play. blood, the young rider making it happen for the Loughborough Riders here in the fourth or final quarter. Riders almost down by as many as 20. 55 to 61. Greg Wilde now on the free throw line with a chance to get them ever more closer. And something has to be said for Greg's production. I mean, he's played less than 10 minutes this game, but he's looking for his 13th point. And that's the, uh, <laughs> the spark they really needed. Greg shot the ball there. He kind of knew it was off, stepped in too early to try and get a rebound. So it's a free throw line violation. And here comes Levi Noll for the storm. 
You know, you've got to look at this performance and think that actually riders are really battling in. You know, they've not had it easy against some of the really great rosters up and down the league this year. But they haven't given up nonetheless. And right now they're battling away once again in this one. An off, a defensive rebound now here with Goodza. Goodza puts on the speed, looks to the corner to find Wild. Wild now guarded by Noel. Morel looks to try and get open. Down low with Aputa. He's going to go back to basket. Big man to big man. And that will fall short for him. You know, it's good to see Loughborough go for a different look, not settle for that three-point shot again, get the ball inside, but he just didn't quite have enough on that hook shot. Big contest uh, from Hemel on the inside too. Noel, guarded by Dietrich, now on top with Poli on he'll shoot another three. And a rebound now for Dietrich, takes him to nine rebounds in this game. Here's Morel. Skip pass inside. Dietrich bursting through the paint for two, and coach Drew Springs, he'll want to have a conversation about it. 57 to 61, four point game. Riders are back in this one, and they are back in business, Dominic. What a two minutes. That's got to be said. Loughborough student riders really putting their foot down in the first two minutes of this fourth quarter to create some great offensive opportunities. Jonas Dietrich doing it on both ends. He caught the defensive rebound and then scores on the offense. 19 points, nine rebounds for Jonas Dietrich. Greg Wild has chipped in with 12 points of his own. The riders starting to find their rhythm. But as we've seen for the most part of this game, it's short, sharp bursts that this happened. This is exactly how they started the third quarter. Can they continue this? Can they now dig in for the remaining eight minutes and seven seconds left here in the fourth and final quarter? Let us know your thoughts in the comments section, guys. We want to know what you're thinking and keep giving us those MVP shouts. Riders battling back in here, but now consistency is going to be the key. Yes, absolutely. And I'm sure that's what Coach Mark Jaron's been talking about in that timeout to his players. They're young. You know, they've just had this great run. Don't get overexcited. It's about now chipping away at this four-point deficit trying to get ahead and then staying even keeled for the remainder eight minutes, like you say. So, full court or three quarter court pressure here. Riders aiming to use the clock a little bit, but also give themselves the opportunity to really to get set on defense, deal with the challenges that come up against them. Out of the Wola, pick from Polian, he'll pop Ayafusi now. Mike Williams, who we've not seen for a little while. He'll go up the three, bounces off the back of the ring. Goodza pushes the ball forward to Wild. I think Jonas Dietrich just uh, tallied up a double-double too with his 10th rebound, I believe. And here's Dietrich once again. Aputa looks to try and get open inside. Wild from a ridiculous range. Bounces off the front of the ring. I think that was a little bit of a heat check moment there. Greg was really feeling himself. Let it fly from a good two steps behind the three-point line. Couldn't quite get it to go. Adelwola puts Wild on the floor. Polian for three off the back of the ring. And now Hemel Storm are having their issues shooting from three-point territory. Goodza. Goodza keep it almost under control. Oyafusi. Oh, a bounce pass through the legs that was collected by Noel. But he almost got that to go to Dietrich in the corner. And if you'd have made that one of the plays of uh, uh, the game for sure. That would have been highlight real stuff if he had got that one through to the shooter in the corner. And a bad Bode Adeloola driving once and inside again. And an out of bounds call. Look for Riders possession substitution. Checking into the game number four, Joe Bielak. Haven't really seen much of him in the second half, so great to get him into the game. Morel will take a break. Actually, Morel's done a great job in keeping space. Maybe he hasn't made an immediate impact, but keeping defenders occupied off the ball, he's kept movement and, and, and created space and opportunity for his teammates. So a good little shift there for Morel. And he's he made that big deep two late in the third yes, two. Yes, of course, yes. I'm forgetting about that, correct. And now, Jimenez into the game. Yeah, Back having, into the game. This having had his first break, and only break, I imagine. Wild off the dribble, floats it over the defender, but with a little bit too much power on that one. I go back to what we were discussing at halftime. I think Loughborough are playing better when they play with a bit more pace. They, they force Hemel into a few more mistakes, and um, I think they're thriving in that situation. Let's see if they can keep it going. Big three, and there's the reply. Are you fussy? Knocks it down. I believe that might be his third one of the game uh, so far. And his, all of his threes have come at very critical moments. Now Dietrich 
Loughborough need a response here. This is what they've not been able to do in previous quarters. Respond to big plays like this. Here's Jimenez. Jimenez now with Bilak. Bilak off the dribble. The foul is called. Referees are looking at each other. Now, will this be an and one play here? Referees Steve Dansman and James Chester were talking over the basket. It's good. He gets it to go. Joe Bilak will get a chance at a three-point play, which he usually makes from behind the arc on the free throw line. The old-fashioned way. The old-fashioned way. The old, giving us an old-fashioned. I, I like that. It's a new one. Thanks, Tom. Yes, free throw line. I was quite surprised that they gave him the and one, if I'm honest with you, but uh, I'm sure he's not complaining. Oh, and able to complete the three-point line. You've got to make it count from the free throw line, but still. Riders have responded, but another chance now to get a stop. Hemel Storm in possession. And there's Dietrich once again putting the pressure on Oyafusi. No easy passes. Look how tightly they're guarding off the ball. Williams behind the basket. Almost got that to go. Looked good from where we are. Jimenez pushing the ball forward. Bilak. Bilak still going. Skips it out. Wild all alone for three. Greg Wild for three. What a shot. And the Lufra bench erupts. Huge play for the Riders. Two point game. Five minutes on the clock. Noel. Oyafusi once again. The down screen action on the right hand side. They're trying to keep finding somebody off of it, but it doesn't seem to be working right now. Here's Jimenez, Wild once again off the dribble. Greg Wild all alone for two. Ties the game up for the Loughborough Riders. We have a ball game. We have a ball game. Here's Levi Noll. Oh, Jonas Dietrich having a great game, starting that on the offensive end with the deflection. And now, top with Greg Polian. It'd be great for Hemel to get him back into this game. Adel Luwola. Hemel need a score here. They've been a bit dry on the offensive end this quarter. And Polian, there he is. Pick and roll action there with Adewola against Greg Wilde. Bit of a mismatch there. Finishes on the reverse. Beautiful There's control inside. There's the response from Hemel. Aputa now back to the basket. Aputa using his body, his strength. Aputa for two. Getting it to go. And Victor Nduku now looks he's stepping up to the, the bench. Remember, he's on four personal fouls, so perfect time to introduce him into this one. Levi Noll, Oyofusi, Polion, Adelawola. With the bounce pass to Polion, and a foul is called. Number 31, Aputa swiped at it. Actually got ball, but Wild seems to have made contact for a hold. An end line possession and the foul count completely the other way around this time. I was it's just about to say. Three to one now the foul count. Hemel uh, closing in on foul trouble. A substitution as a putter. Put in a great shift coming off the bench for the Riders and Duku stepping in. Baseline possession now for the Hemel Storm. Levi Noll with possession. And a foul is called. And I believe that's called on Victor Nduku, yeah, his first his player of the game, uh, of the quarter. That's his fifth and final foul. I, we don't have such, we're a bit further away than the officials, but in a men's division one game, you would think that that's the type of contact that they'd be letting go. Um, but unfortunately, Victor's got to go and take a seat and Six. watch the rest from the sideline. CJ Hayden checks in for him. Polian actually giving the referee a high five for actually catching that. And now Polian again for three. And a rebound now for Greg Wilde. Here's a chance now for Loughborough to go in the lead after being down by as almost as many as 20 points as a foul is called. Now team foul trouble. That's their fourth team foul. Sideline possession for the Loughborough Riders. Yeah, this is a great position for Loughborough Riders to be in. Three and a half minutes on the clock. They know that Hemler are in foul trouble now. I'd like to see them play really aggressive because they know that they can go to the free throw line if, if there's any hits. Jimenez, still in possession now, Dietrich. Looking inside, CJ Hayden looks for the pass to Bilak. A nice hands there from Noll and keeps it under control for the Storm and the Storm will now get another chance. Close to a backcourt, managed to get his feet in inside the halfway line just in time. Adelawola moves the ball to Polian. Polian hands it off. Big three if it goes. Williams knocks it down. Huge three. Come at the man, come at the moment. That's how I'm not sure how that's the saying going, but <laughs> come at the moment, come at the man. And my Williams has stepped up here for the Hamel Storm. Wild. 
all coming from that steal from Levi Knowles on the defensive end, which was huge. Only their third steal of the ball game. And a foul is called. Foul called the number five and the Loola. Team foul trouble for the Storm. Greg Wilde will now head to the free throw line. This is not the position you want to be in if you're the Storm. Two minutes, 47 left to play. Loughborough have plenty of fouls to give and keep sending them to the free throw line, bailing players out. It could be closer than they anticipated, yes. which it already is. Like you were saying earlier to here, this game's almost like a game of chess. Coaches really getting their players to orchestrate the offenses, running a lot of actions. And um, it'll be interesting to see what impact the foul count has, because if Loughborough can't close this gap and need to foul to stop the clock, potentially in the last minute, it could come back to almost punish them when they've been in foul trouble for the first three quarters of the game and now only having one with only 2.40 left in the game. Substitution checking into the game. Number nine, Carter Goodser replaces Bilak. 67 to 69. Adelawola driving nice. Stand from Jimenez, but Adelawola just keeps going and he'll just get the bucket to go. He's a force on his own right now. This second half, he's just taken over inside the paint. He's getting every look he wants at the basket. Goodzer, now we're a little bit too stagnant for the riders. Jimenez fires up a three, doesn't get it to go. The offense has become a little stagnant. That's not the same energy that they were displaying. And maybe they are tiring out a little at this moment in time. Here's Adelawola, ooh, slips a little. Thought a knee joint came out of place, came together. A huge Mike three Williams. attempt. Oh my goodness, Mike Big Williams. Three. Hamill Storm have now pushed themselves into a better vantage position. 67 to 74, one minute 54 left on the clock. Timeout called by the Loughborough Riders. They need to talk it over. They have come back from a tough position. They have climbed the mountain to get as close as they are now. And it's now this final, just under two minutes of play left to go for them to be able to capitalize on that opportunity that they have before them. Still, in the comments, let us know your MVP shout outs. We've got a shout out for Teo Oyafusi with 13.13 rebounds. We've got Greg Wild shout out, 18 points from 15 minutes off the bench. Uh, who else have you got as the MVPs in this one? Dominic, who are you looking at as, as MVP in this game? Well, I think Mike Williams' second half has been incredible. Um, but if we're looking on the left rider side, Jonas Dietrich has just been producing all game long. I know they're trailing the game right now. They need a huge two minutes to put themselves in contention to win. But without him, I don't know where this game would be. He's been commanding the floor and producing on both ends. And sometimes the things that don't show up on the stat sheet, you know, communication, box outs, getting his teammates through screens, under screens, these are the things that coaches are really looking for that, you know, you can't see after the fact in a stat sheet of a game. So here we go, back underway here at Loughborough University, the Loughborough Riders 67, the Hamel, St the Hamel Storm 74. Hayden out to Wild. Wild jab fake. Sends his defender the other way. Jonas Dietrich is a little bit flat in his shot. An offensive rebound opportunity here now for the Riders. They need this opportunity to make the most of it. Here's Jimenez driving baseline inside. Jonas Dietrich for two. Gets the finish to go. And now a big defensive play. Full court pressure here from the Riders. Jimenez. Yeah, Sags stop needed here. Sags off a little and Adelawola. They do have fouls to give. I don't see why you would slow down the defensive intensity here. Here's Polian. Now with Noel. Back to Adelawola at the top. Screen from Oyafusi. Adelawola, he's going to work once again off the side of the ring. Rebounded by Polian. And a foul is called. I believe Dietrich tried to spike that one away. And the foul is called the number seven, CJ Hayden on the arm. And I, I think the block was clean from Dietrich. I think CJ Hayden, however, just got trapped in between his own teammate and Polion, and his body position basically led to the foul. Two minutes, oh sorry, I say one minute left remaining, and Greg Polion on the line for two free throws. Knocks down the first. He's got 20 points personal, seven rebounds. Uh, he's one for five from three. I'm sure he scored more than one three in this game. I Maybe thought not. he had two. Know, but we but were talking about the long two earlier on in the game. Uh, he shot 54% from the two-point percentage field. He's done a fantastic job of keeping the storm around in pivotal moments. 
Hayes. Riders really need a score on this offense. Here's Jimenez. Now with Goodza. Goodza. Up top, Jimenez. Jimenez floats it up off the front of the ring. A deer trick now. Goodza needs this three. Bounces off the back of the ring. Now Greg Wilde has it. Jimenez has to fire up another three. Rattles around the ring. Another <laughs> offensive board. And Goodza hits the deck. You know it's bad when the opposition crowd round to help the young man up. Well, actually, I thought the ball was the biggest bang on the floor at that moment in time. It kind of landed on the ball, so some cushioning on his way down. The foul is called. Two shots to come for Goodzer. He'll head to the free throw line. 33.8 on the clock, 69 to 74. Loughborough had like three consecutive offensive boards there. The three-point opportunities wide open. Maybe the last one is a little bit more contested than the other ones, but... Still couldn't get it to go to find that rhythm, but really have pushed Hemel Storm right to the edge here, which without you know key players such as Harrison Gamble uh, is, is, is very impressive. Goods and misses the first free throw. Yeah, the effort cannot be underestimated. However, uh, I would have perhaps liked to see some of the aggressiveness on the offensive board earlier in the game that we just saw on that last offense. Three in a row on the offensive rebounds. Goodson missing from the free throw line. Oh, Roger Harrison coming from the opposite end of the court to say that a uh, Storm player has actually come in, stepped in too early. So, free throw. Yeah, I believe the player who was outside the three point line crossed the three point line before it hit the ring, uh, which isn't allowed. Goodson with a chance to correct that second shot, and he does. Get the second one to go. Five point game, not all lost here. Defensive pressure being put in. Long pass ahead to Polian. Can they get it over half court? Stolen by CJ Hayden. Jimenez for three would be huge if they got it to go, which he does. Time out call. Two point game, 27.5 on the clock. Just when we thought all of this was over. Just when we thought the Hemel Storm were getting into the lead and away with it. The Riders bounce back. Carl Jimenez, big three after the full court pressure and a huge defensive play from the Riders, Dom. Unbelievable. I mean, we saw Mark Jarum during those free throws telling his team, get up, get up, pressure them on their own baseline, and it worked. And Carl Jimenez with the huge three-pointer, you know, missed a 40-minute pretty much. Um, not quite in the triple-double conversation today, but he's not far off. Ten points, eight assists, seven rebounds to his name, alongside two uh, steals, 21 points from Jonas Dietrich, 11 rebounds for him, 18 points from Greg Wilde. These guys have really contributed to Riders getting back into the game. And now Coach Mark Jarron will be really trying to get his guys to focus on having a really good defensive possession coming up now. They have fouls to give. They have fouls to give, so they can be very aggressive at this moment in time. I think what's going to be interesting here is uh, Hemel going to take the inbound in the backcourt or the frontcourt? It looks like they're taking it in the backcourt, which will give them the full 24, which would make you think the Loughborough Riders are going to have to foul. There is that slight separation, 3.5 seconds on the shot clock and the scoreboard here. As we get this one back in the way, a great game at Loughborough University. Levi Knoll, the former rider, hands it off to Adelawola has a quick look at the clock he's looking at the wrong clock because the shot clock is separated between the scoreboard nine seconds on it eight seconds on the shot clock and the onto the left hand good for two oh Clutch my time. goodness what a move he got right past the defender crossing from the right to the left there was no help defense had a clear lane to the basket finishes strong off the left hand and gives Hemel the advantage at this moment in time 7.6 seconds on the clock remaining mark jaron with a chance now to draw something special up and obviously they've got a foul very quickly to take them to that team foul trouble um, and then obviously foul once again to get them to the free throw line all pending the fact that they draw something up to get close enough and within striking distance here yeah absolutely i think um as we discussed it just before they came out, no foul was made by Loughborough Riders, really putting the faith in their defense, which is understandable. I mean, Hemel shooting a respectable 45%, but I mean, you still want to always have confidence in your defense. Unfortunately, the move was just beautiful. Shake and bake really got him going. Thought he was going right, pulled it back left and got the finish at the basket. I mean, wouldn't it be amazing if we got a full point play now? That's what Loughborough have to be hoping for, tie it up. But, um, 
In this situation, do you think you go for the quick two and the foul, like you say, especially when you have a foul to give, or do you go for the three to make it a one-point game? I just feel like at this moment in time, look, they've got this far. You just need to be within striking distance. So for me, you go for the three. If they hit, uh, uh, you know, they're more than likely going to try it and take an inside look or a more secured look, then you're still within striking distance. But <laughs> it's context. We, we've got some great shooters on the floor right now. Jimenez, Wild, Dietrich, they can all put the ball in from behind the arc. Uh, but also, you know, if you, you, you want to be a little bit more traditional, so we say, this is how it'll go. Right, Wild rises up to the top. Greg Wild for three. Drills and he's it. made it. What a huge play here at the Loughborough University. Greg Wild replies. Greg Wild with another huge three from the bench. What a ball game, ladies and gentlemen, here at Loughborough University. 76 to 77. Ooh, I'm, I am absolutely sweating right now. Yeah, an absolutely beautiful action drawn up there from coach Mark Jarum. The, uh, the pin down street screens, the sort of fake run. Well, it probably wasn't fake. He would have been open also, Jonah Dietrich yeah, to the corner. My eye was completely drawn to Jonas as he swung through the baseline to the left-hand side. But I think Greg Wilde actually set that screen and came off uh, a CJ Hayden, yeah, yeah. slipped straight through, found his rhythm. He just felt it. He felt the moment. He's been hot from the line. And all of a sudden, Greg Wilde has put the riders within one, 2.7 on the clock. They need to foul very quickly now. They need to foul very, very quickly because all the Hemel Storm need to do is get the ball into play and run out 2.7 seconds of gameplay and they, you know, they win in this game. Yeah, the ball's going to come in in the front court uh, to not risk any silly backcourt turnovers. And um, I think Hemel will just look for a really good off-ball action to get their best free throw shooter open uh, to get the ball. Um, but, but let's have go. a look. Let's go. Let's get straight into the action here. 2.7 on the clock. Oyafusi to get the ball into play. Tough off ball defense here into Williams. Foul is called. 1.5 on the clock. Oh, I don't know if that's enough time to get another foul. Where's the timeout situation? I think all three timeouts have been used for both teams. So now another quick foul required. Ball in, foul straight away. 0.9 seconds on the clock. Well, <laughs> I I, think listen, we've been in this situation already in this game where it's uh, probably not particularly possible at this moment in time, but we can't count it out because this game has been up and down. I and think that was Jonas's fifth foul as well, Dietrich. which takes out one of the stronger three-point shooters. Chester Morrell will come into the game to replace him. Uh, I wonder what the quick action is going to be here now. If you're Greg Polian, do you miss this second shot? It's an interesting conundrum. If he makes it, it makes it a three-point game and it's going to be a heave. But if he misses it to gather a rebound and release the shot, I might intentionally miss. But uh, Here we'll we go. See. We'll see what he does here. Polian makes the second shot. We're looking Three at a Three-point game. Jimenez, wow, has to let it go. Oh, my goodness. If that had dropped, I would have completely lost my mind. But ladies and gentlemen, that is it here at Loughborough University. An extremely exciting basketball game. 76 to 79, the score. Helmel Storm just come out on top after riders rally from behind after being down by as many as uh, nearly 18 points in this game. A phenomenal game of basketball and one for you to enjoy on your debut co-commentating, Dominic. Absolutely. I mean, who would have thought this game was going to be so exciting down the stretch with the way the, the second half began, should I say. Uh, Hemel looked just like they were in the driving seat controlling this game and all credit to Loughborough student riders who came out in that second half and they really dug in. They used their, you know, their tenacity and their youth and, uh, and as you said, they live and died by the three a little bit, but it got them back into the ball game. Some huge shots from Greg Wilde, a big game from Jonas Dietrich, but it wasn't enough. Hemel Storm come into Loughborough and they put on a show, multiple players scoring in double digits, and um, you have to give them credit. What a performance, a professional performance towards the end to see out the game as well. 21 points, 11 rebounds for Jonas Dietrich. 
Uh, 21 points uh, for Greg Wilde in 18 minutes of play. Uh, 18 points for Mike, Mike Williams, five rebounds, four assists. 20 points for uh, Bode Adelowola, just as his point per game uh, averages. Uh, 13 points and 15 rebounds for Teo Oyafusi. And 22 points, eight rebounds for Greg Polian's free throws, who sealed the deal at the end of that game. So who do you think should be the MVP in this game? Bearing in mind, more often than not, you give the MVP to the winning team. Uh, let us know in the comments, but who are you uh, thinking that's going to be the MVP in this game? Uh, as we look at it, like you say, you just ran through some of those stats and Hemel had some guys really produce. But I think um, just considering he played 30, nearly 38 minutes and sealed the game on those free throws, for me, my MVP would have to be Greg Polian with his performance today. I completely agree with you there. Greg Polian was actually the difference when he was working inside or whether it was trying to draw players out and shoot the ball and more importantly, come up big when they needed him most. Greg Polian seemed to be that guy. But you cannot obviously deny the other contributions from the other teammates within the Hemel Storm. They all contributed so well. But yes, if there could be only one player that we have to pick, which is the case, we would pick Greg Polian on this occasion for MVP in this game. Uh, but a big shout out to all of you who have joined us here at the Loughborough University uh, for today's NBL Division One action. It's been a pleasure to host you here. Don't forget, you can support the GB men's team now live on YouTube for free via the FIBA YouTube channel as they take on Germany on their quest for the 2022 qualifying uh, uh, Eurobasket competition. So please do check them out. My name has been Ty Hadja alongside Dominic McDonough. Thank you very much, ladies and gentlemen. We have you ha hope you have a wonderful weekend. Thank you.